Hey you! So today I wanted to do a simple tutorial on how to apply Sally Hansen's Real Nail Polish Strips. And I had posted a picture of this on Instagram uh, about two weeks ago and I got a request on how to apply these and it's actually pretty easy once you start doing it. The first time it can be a little difficult, a little tricky, but with practice I promise you it'll get better and you'll be able to apply them really well. So oh, inside a nail file on one side it's an uh like a nail file on the other side it's kind of a little bit smoother but still like kind of like a buffer and then on the other side it's really smooth it also comes with this wooden little um like cuticle pusher so that comes in there and it comes with the strips in this foil packet and it's basically like sealed tight just to keep it from drying up and it also comes with instructions and it just shows you how to apply them they have different sizes for each nail. As you guys can see, this one's for your thumb, this is maybe for your middle finger, and this is maybe for your um, pointer finger, your index finger. So they come with different sizes, and each nail polish strip, like you'll come to notice, is that on one side it's a lot smaller, and the other side it's a little bit uh, thicker. And each nail, as you guys can see, um, it just it comes that way so it can custom you can customize it to your own uh, fingers like if you have thicker fingers then you would go ahead and use the thicker side if you have smaller fingers then on this side I am just going to apply this over my fake nails and I posted a video on how to apply these fake nails and it, it only costs you three dollars so if you want to go ahead and check that out then I would really recommend it I would really recommend that you, you always use the thicker side just to be safe because um, like once you apply it it's sticks to your nail and you can't take it off because basically like nail polish you can't just like rip it off it's not an actual kind of thicker like you put it on and it stays on so I would always recommend to use a thicker side just because since I am wearing fake nails sometimes you can see like the side of the nails peek through so I always use the thicker side just to be safe and then I just take off the excess and I'll show you how to do that so to start off you just want to take and it's so weird because when you first open it, it smells like nail polish. Like it smells like, uh, you know, when you're applying your nail polish, it smells just like it. So you just take off the clear plastic. And then it has this silver lining down here. And that's what you're going to use to help apply it. So you're just going to go ahead and peel this off. Be very careful. And since I am going to use a thicker side, I'm just going to take it off. So you're just going to apply this on the center of your nail. So you just want to lay it down. And you don't want to like put it on on the first try just because um, it can be a little tricky. So see, I just applied it on the really base near my cuticle. And then you're just going to press it down just at the top. And as you guys can see, it's a little bit overlapping on my nail, but that's okay. We can take that off. If you want these to last, you guys see? And if you have short nails, what you can do is smooth it out just to cover your whole nail. And you can take the nail buffer and just kind of press it on there to make sure it really sticks on. So press it with the white side, the very smooth side. And what you can do from here is just fold it over and take the um take the pink side with the little with the little rough edge and you can just go ahead and kind of press down and it kind of cuts it for you perforates it and then you can take it from there and take it off and what you can do from here if you want these to last is you can just go ahead and apply this on your other thumb if you have short nails, then you can go ahead and do that. And take the same process, apply it on your thumb right there in the center, press down, and kind of smooth it over. You guys can see. And there you go. You use one strip for two nails. So once you've got those applied on there, you'll see that you'll probably have like some rough edges. So you can just go ahead and take the nail file and kind of just buff them. And if you have an overlap like I did right here, you can just go ahead and take the um, the wooden the wooden stick that comes with it and just take the pointy side, 
kind of press down on it. And it'll take it off for you. Just use a little bit of pressure. You don't want a lot. And you can see that it came right off. And now it fits my nail perfectly. Then you take your other thumb and just, again, take the pink side, the rough side, and just file it down. And then you'll see that it comes off pretty easy. So go ahead and take it again and then just press down to make sure that all the edges are on your nail and that way you can take one strip for two no so now I'm just going to take my pointer finger and I'm just going to measure you just want to measure to make sure you know which one will fit best on which nail I feel like this one will fit a lot better than this one so again you just peel off the clear cover take the silver part of it peel it off gently and then again, lay it on the center of your nail, like at the root, at the cuticle. And once you feel like you found the correct place for it, just press it down one side at a time. So press down on one side, and then go ahead and press it down on the other side. And then just go ahead and take the white part of your nail buffer and smooth it over. You just want to take your time with this just to make sure that they are applied correctly. So again, if you want to use the same strip um, and save it for the other nail, then just go ahead and fold it over your nail. Take the pink rough side and be very gentle and kind of just perforate it there where it folds over your nail. So you guys can see there's a little bit of a tear. Just take it off and then take off the silver lining and use it for your other nail. Again, apply it right on the center, right at the center, and then fold it on one side, the other side. Smooth it over with the white part, and then just tear it off. And there you go. There goes another set of nails. Again, just smooth out the bottom of it with the pink side. Or even if you have one that's not as rough as this one, then just go ahead and take that nail file. Smooth out the sides. You can even take the peach side and just go ahead and smooth it down. There you go. And you just repeat the same process for all your nails. And that's how you apply your Sally Hansen Real Nail Polish Strips. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this. So, till next time, bye.